Hey, welcome to Vince and Kevin's OU Football Prediction Show, the Tulane edition. Come on in here, Kevin. Wasn't that a great game last week? It was probably the most complete game the Sooners have had since I've been a Sooner fan. Yeah. Offense, defense, oh, special man. teams. It shows how well that 2017 recruiting class was. I mean, it all those players were freshmen or near freshmen, and they were just awesome, you know. Our quarterback has got to be the top quarterback in the country. Oh, yes. He's got to be number one on the list for the Heisman. Yeah, they're saying that, but he's, he's right top of the list now. Yeah, the Ohio State quarterback was just so confused. Yeah, well, he can't throw. He, yeah. He's not a throwing quarterback. He's a running quarterback, and he was pretty scary when he had the ball. Kevin Wilson, the former OU offensive coordinator who, you know, directed great players like Sam Bradford, he implemented the same system at Ohio State and, you know, Barry just can't, can't handle it, you know? Well, our defense shut him down. I think it's more our defense stopping oh, them yeah. than our offense not working properly. Right, right. There were some great, great defenders. And, and some of those catches our receivers made were incredible. Oh, yeah. Exciting I, to watch. I, I love Flowers, the way he... What's well, amazing to me, they're supposed to have so much team speed. But yeah, I mean, Flowers, uh, there were safeties back there, and they're supposed to be so fast at Ohio State. But Flowers, who's real big, is uh, just outruns them to the end zone. It's like, whoa. I mean, where was the speed on that Ohio State team, you know? It's yeah, they, they weren't the same team as last year. They, yeah. They've gone down a few notches. Well, the only thing about, too. Turns out the only thing we're missing is that Samuel that killed us with the, you know. Four plays in four, the corner. Yeah. Catching After that, the other guy. it was just over, you know. Man, it's great. Well, Tulane, what have we got there, Kevin? They'll meet you. Okay. Hey, what have we got this weekend, Tulane, Kevin? Tulane, well, they, they're one and one. They kind of crushed Grambling State, but they lost in a close one to Navy. 21-23, and really they should have won the game. The, their quarterback, Zach Abbey, he uh, threw an interception and two fumbles at really bad times during the game, which gave the, the ball in the, the game to Navy. Uh, well, uh, but he's pretty good still, you know, they say. Yeah. Well, Vince, what's your score on the Tulane game? Well, I think it's going to be... 58 to 7. That's that's a pretty good score. I'm going to go 53 to 17. Because Tulane's not that bad. If they can run the ball at all, they'll, they'll, they'll get one on us. Well, uh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we say around here, just, just win, win baby. baby. <laughs>